back in 2006, so I got made redundant from the magazine I was working on. Um, that's where I started, car magazines as a journalist. And it was daunting, you know, it was really hard and I didn't know what to do and I decided, right, I'm going to go, go out on my own freelance and I'm going to just try and conquer it as best as I can in this brave new world. And it was, it was scary and it was really exciting. And it led on to loads of really cool stuff like Fifth Gear and doing other TV series and, and, and YouTube came along and, and I've been doing many more things on YouTube and interesting corporate content on different platforms as these things come along. But the reason why I wanted to make this video today is because when I went out on my own, I called the company name Car Pervert and a lot of people complained to me. Company's house weren't happy about it at all. And when I did some work in the States for BBC America um, a few years back, the IRS were, were, were shocked that anyone was allowed to call their business Car Pervert. I made it very clear that you've got to use the word car in front of pervert, otherwise, yes, it's a bit odd. But you know, the reason why I did it is because I got called Car Pervert as a nickname many times because in here, I have such an eclectic appreciation for various forms of automotive, and I wanted to bring that all out. And Car Pervert, this channel, this YouTube channel, has never really, I've never really taken it seriously. It's just been a little hobby that I did on the side. I put a video on there, here and there. They've not been particularly shiny, but I've decided as of 2020, and this is why I'm doing this video, I wanted to share with you guys I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to brain dump everything that's been going on in my mind. It's, I'm going to throw the doors open of this broad church of automotive appreciation and I'm going to put it on, on Car Pervert. Car Pervert is going to be a YouTube channel which has everything going on all at the same time. You'll, you have two wheels, four wheels, three wheels, six wheels, eight wheels, multiple things, new cars, old cars. You don't have to be in one camp and not be in the other. I have a huge appreciation for EVs, as you might know from my fully charged videos. I also have a huge appreciation for classic cars, muscle cars, things that have come and gone in the past. I like myth busting, I like showing people how they can look after their cars better because I do believe we're in a world where mending and make do should be pushed on to our children. We should understand how things work. I want to go on adventures and there's been lots of stuff over the years which features and contacts that I've accrued that I've not been able to put out on TV platforms for various political reasons and now is the time I'm going to do it. I'm going to put that all out on Car Pervert. I'm going to take this channel more seriously and I'm going out on a limb. I'm not going to lie. It's going to have to earn me some money. Um, I'm not going to stop doing a lot of my other work, don't worry. I'm not going to stop doing TV or anything like that but yeah I know I don't want my wife to leave me and I don't want to lose my house so I will have to earn some money but I've got so much experience from the past and I've got so much genuine enthusiasm which I still haven't put out on the screen I haven't finished a lot of my own projects if you know me you know I spend a lot of my own money and time on, on, on car projects some of them are great some of them are crap but I love them for various different reasons I have as much fun razzing around a field on an old ropey moped as I do getting to sit in a pre-production Bugatti and I think that automotive appreciation, that, that, that breadth is something which I want to really use Car Pervert to bring out and I hope you guys will join me on this journey. I don't exactly know what's going to happen and I want this channel to be a place where you don't really know what's going to come next. It could be electric, it might not be, it might be broken, it might be carchaeology. I might get arrested, hopefully not. But I'm going to use that experience that I've accrued and that interest and that, that continued interest that I've still got in these things. Interestingly shaped tin boxes that take you places and sometimes break down, give you smiles, make you uh, skin, lose you relationships maybe. There are so many people and stories behind the vehicles as well. So that's why I'm here and that's why I'm explaining it because Car Pervert was seen as a Oh, you don't want to call it car perv, you need to rebrand really. But this, this week just gone, I was doing a, a corporate car launch event. Big, glitzy event. And I got introduced on stage as the car pervert. And everyone gave me a round of applause and they liked it. And nobody seemed offended. And I thought, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm just going to, I've had this channel and this name for so long and it's never been properly utilised. Now's the time to do it. 
I'm unashamedly coming out. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm automotively pansexual and I don't care. And I like that. We live in a world where YouTube has everything and anything. But I want to distill everything that I really appreciate and all the things I want to see and do and maybe share with you guys and this genuine enthusiasm onto Car Pervert. I might even start selling merchandise just to keep things ticking over. Now the website's obviously out of date at the moment. Bear with me, this is an ongoing thing. It's going to be branded properly soon, but the first video is going out today. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I look forward to your comments and suggestions of, of, of what I may do. I've got, a, I've got a lot in store, I've got a lot of ideas. But that's what I wanted to say. My name's Johnny Smith, and I am the car pervert. Thank you for watching.